As the swim coach at Covington, Min Lee selects which athletes will participate in the statewide swim relay. The relay team swims two-thirds of a mile altogether, with each team member responsible for swimming two-ninths of a mile. The team must complete the swim in three-fifths of an hour. How many swimmers does Min Lee need on the relay team? Now, what we need to think about is what's the total amount of mileage they need to do? What's the total distance that they need to do? So let's think about the total distance. Total distance divided by, divided by the distance per swimmer. Distance, distance per swimmer. Swimmer swimmer is going to give us the number of swimmers that we need. Number of swimmers. Swimmers. So what's the total distance that they need to go? Well, we circled it up here. They need to swim 2 thirds of a mile together. So the total distance is 2 thirds of a mile. The distance per swimmer that they need to go, or, or the distance that per mile, that the, the distance per swimmer, the, the distance that each swimmer is going to do is 2 ninths of a mile. Each team member responsible for swimming 2 ninths of a mile. So divided by 2 ninths of a mile. And this is going to give us the number of swimmers we need. And you could even put the units here, and it'll all work out. So you get the number of swimmers. We don't care how fast they need to actually complete it. We just care about, for this distance, given how far each of them swims, how many people do we need? This is actually extra non-necessary information. So 2 thirds divided by 2 ninths, this is the same thing as 2 thirds times the reciprocal of 2 ninths which is 9 halves, 9 halves. And you, you could, well, I'll just multiply it out without multiplying it out. So this is the same thing as 2 times 9 over 3 times 2. We can divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. Then this will become a 1, and this will become a 1. We could have done it at this stage too. Divide numerator and denominator by 2. That would be 1, and that would be 1 as well. And we can divide the numerator and the denominator by 3. This will become 3. This would become 1. We could have also done it at this stage. Dividing both of these by 3, this is 3. This is 1. We're dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same thing. Well, now our numerator is simplified to 1 times 3, which is 3. And our denominator is simplified to 1 times 1, which is 1. So this is equal to 3. 3 swimmers is what we need.